you ready, Freddy? Yeah. Hey, my name's Craig, Dad. Oh. I can't remember. You got so many sons, huh? Yeah. And okay. none of them named Fred. Okay, hit it, Al. Harry. Oh, oh Dad. Dad. He's so good. Glasses in May. Hmm. Isn't this great? Yeah. Yep, here in my basement. Oh, wait, we're not in the basement. Huh. We still make molasses for the candy. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter and jelly has not replaced it, don't worry. Absolutely not worry, buddy. <laughs> Those of you hyperventilating, people who recommend PBJ. I wonder if anybody's taking the PBJ ribbon candy and put it in a PBJ sandwich. If you do, make sure to tag us on Instagram so yeah. we can see it. <laughs> you could sprinkle it on ice cream. Yeah, that'd be good. Is there such thing as peanut butter and jelly ice cream? Not yet. <laughs> if not, why isn't that? Ben, Jerry, what are you doing? Doesn't that seem like a no-brainer? Okay, yeah. Good. Of course, maybe you have to have bread-flavored ice cream. Well, I guess we didn't have to have bread-flavored you know, candy. Well, I've seen jars of peanut butter and jelly mixed in one jar. Smuckers? Yeah. It's been know. around since before you were. I know, I'm just saying, I've seen it. <laughs> uh -huh. Wow, it's getting heated in here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is the drama. You better watch it. This is the drama on our, on our reality <laughs> yeah. There's also a pun because it's getting heated. Oh, it's yeah. Funny. Yeah, got it. It's, the, funny, it's funnier when you explain it, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like dissecting a frog. You understand it, but it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope so, otherwise it's called vivisection, and that's just mean. You meanie. I mean, I feel bad enough when I cut a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in half. Sure have. You have? Yeah, in my dreams. Oh, I didn't well, think she has it. We should do that sometime. Well, actually, it might be a little tough for it because I know, now that this table's on wheels, it's just you have to raise a little bit higher. And I'm the shortest one on the candy making staff, which I'm. But yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little more of a challenge. Terry, you work out sometimes, right? It doesn't make her taller. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she taller than you, though? No. I thought Kara's taller than you. No. Really? Sorry. Kara's shorter than you? I'm afraid she is, and she doesn't oh. like to talk about it. It's a sore subject, Craig. Oh. Yeah, yeah, don't bring it up, Craig. God. Hmm. This whole time. She's about. She she's gonna you. leave in a minute and go cry. Her personality <laughs> is taller. <laughs> yeah, her tall personality. She does. <laughs> no, she's like one inch short. I don't know the height of my own family, apparently. <laughs> like, well, you didn't know there was going to be a test or a quiz. I mean, you're, okay, your dad's six foot tall. Yeah. Six, six foot. five, I think. <laughs> well, that's Joe, silly. Yeah, Joe's seven, two. How come you guys are using the, the full table instead of the other hard candy? Oh, because it's only off. four batches. Yeah, so it won't heat so up too much anyway. Maybe the last one might stick a tiny bit, but at four batches you can get away with it. Five or six or no. seven that we usually do it. Yeah, so not so much. Gets <laughs> too hot. Gets a little warm and sticky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you do it right, it won't stick. <laughs> Um, That's something yeah, we we right had a lot of uh, we've had a lot of comments. People saying like, "Well, if you do this, it won't stick." Well, the marble table just heats up. Yeah, That's really unless you can cool the marble can, table down. Nothing you can well, do about you know what? Maybe if we didn't put the hot stuff on it, there, there we go. Yeah. Well, other people are like, "Well, why don't you, you know, put some ice on it or something?" <laughs> we don't have time. Yeah, yeah there's, we don't. Yeah, and we don't have enough people. <laughs> and we gotta put shortening on it. And that might cause a condensation problem. Yeah, yeah. oh, definitely. Then it but would the really fan stick. thing, uh, that was uh, suggested by a fan at yeah. some point. And that one is a pretty good one. We got one. the yeah. fan on right there. That's the one oh, oh, it is. It pulls under the table and cools it, keeps it cooler. <laughs> and actually, we, the last time we made uh, hard candies and stuff, uh, it didn't really stick that much because I think the fan really does help blowing on it yeah. underneath it and stuff. It's funny, just little things will help. Yeah. <laughs> Works. It's a little easier to put nice on the table, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's too time consuming. And then also, if it gets too cold, then you gotta rush everything. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. So it's good that the table gets warmed up so then they can slow down. Mm -hmm. First one, you gotta rush a little bit. Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah, what else you got going on today? 
Yeah, nothing else to do. <laughs> and besides, it's just me and your mom today. Yeah. We're all alone. Other than Other Kara than and Kara Sam and, and Sam. Karen. <laughs> but other than that, all alone. <laughs> yeah, no Max or Joe today. Not today. They're in a better place. Yeah. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> what about that one? Oh, that Ooh, was a good one. That made a good <laughs> sound. Hey, did you discover how to make your own bubbles? I think Max and I made some bubbles when we, when we weren't playing with our food. Tiny bubbles. You know how to do it, Dad? No. Oh, there's a video. People send me this video all the time on Instagram. I think basically you kind of like grab the candy, pull it up, and then over. A little bit, just like grab it. Maybe, we, mom, you can do it. We did that, and it happened. Are you saying? Or you did it uh, one time. I saw it actually. Picked it up. Just a little bit of the candy. I mean, you could grab it even from the like middle. I think. Like made an air pocket <laughs> type of thing. I think uh, they grabbed it with their hands in the video I saw on Instagram. Oh, it wasn't us then. No, you did it. I don't know. Like that? Yeah, kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I can't show you because I don't have gloves on and Here you go. And I'm also recording and go stuff. Go ahead. Okay. I can hold that camera. Okay. I don't have a hat or an apron. Oh. Anymore, so. <laughs> it would not be very sanitary, yeah. There's um, a bubble. I'll, I'll have There's to show you guys bubble. after this batch. Like this? <laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys the video after this. It'll be a, once you see it, you're like, oh, now I know what you're talking about. You just like explained that? it very like poorly. That? They don't drop it. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> you hold, just, how can you hold it up? You like you pick it up and then you like place it. It's. <laughs> I'm I, I'm not explaining this very well clearly. Okay. <laughs> then you just throw it on the ground. <laughs> oh, it's against the health rules. It it specifically says in the manual do just not throw it. If you throw it on the ground, it picks up more volume. You know, more dirt. Well, that's a good point. Adds mm. to the texture. Oh yeah. More flavor. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave you to this. I'm gonna go staple some bags because there's no reason for me to just stand here looking good. You do that very you well. Just, <laughs> you look very very pretty. You're very very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> The blob. What'd you call me? Just like in the movie. Uh, who's the? Oh actor? no! Oh no! It's got me. Ah! Who's the actor who was like the forty-year-old teenager? Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen. <laughs> they do that all the time in movies. The original. <laughs> Forty-year-old, seventeen-year-old. Oh, he hey. looked older, I guess. Come back mm -hmm. here. Sure. Hey, do you guys want to be on video? Sure. <laughs> the YouTube. <laughs> you, ever, you ever heard of YouTube before, guys? Oh, um, uh, briefly. Who's briefly. that? Briefly. Um, briefly. Yeah. friends. Oh. oh you got friends? <laughs> yeah. So wow. Much. I had to pay him, but no, we're still friends. You. you can't cross that line. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Here, we'll fight me. Ah, you're familiar with her work. I don't fight you when I have gloves on. <laughs> so I know you've been to the store before. Have you two been to the store before? I have. I went to opening day. Yeah, oh, really? I was, yeah. Yeah. I was oh, okay. visiting her and I came opening. Yeah. I love that. That is so cool. Do you guys already know what we're making? No. no. Can you tell us? Can you smell it? Mm -hmm. It smells good. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like your lollipop. You guys want to try like it? It's molasses with peanut butter. It, oh, really? so you're making that? Yeah. yeah. Really? Ooh. It's very obvious. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's oh exciting. Gosh. How long does that take? Um, this will be another another ten minutes before it gets to that shape. Really? Yeah. You're, you're oh, they ten minutes? Yeah. 
Oh my god. This is so neat. <laughs> Alright, can I get a taste test from you guys? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah? Wow. It's like perfect texture. It melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm a big peanut butter fan. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> really good. Yeah. It's so good. Oh my gosh, this is very good. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Molasses. Yeah, it's molasses. It's like a molasses body, and then you just fill the peanut butter. That's awesome. Yeah. That's well, you guys had a. Uh, someone who asked if you guys made it and then you guys said no and he's like well what if I teach you and you're like well okay yeah it was an old candy maker uh, uh, came by asked me if I made it and I said no I didn't know how to make it and so he said well I'll teach you if you want I was like okay <laughs> so he came by and he showed me how to do it one time and then we just kept trying to the first couple times we didn't make it very good but then finally you get it that's really oh cool that's so fun that's awesome I love this. Okay, this is super good. Mm. I could watch that all day. Yeah, everybody <laughs> seems to like it, so. <laughs> yeah, well, I can see why. It's really neat, too, to see, like, how you get to the end product, too. Yeah. It's, it's so weird it's really that that doesn't stick to anything. Yeah. I feel like watching it's like that on the snack and like the so satisfying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> She goes, it's like watching the So Satisfying. Oh, yeah, the Satisfying Compilation. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. we've actually been in some of those compilations. People have, like, taken our videos and put them in there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. It's so satisfying. <laughs> you guys are just out and about. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you guys playing hooky? Actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we I think it might be ready. Yeah. Yeah, it's ready. My mom, it's ready. Okay. <coughs> it's kind of big though. Maybe your mom should throw it. Yeah. She does push up. <laughs> okay, you ready to throw it on the hook, Terry? You can start it. Chicken. Bring chickens into this. Oh. What if our viewers are chickens? Yeah. <laughs> They're not going to like that. Throwing chickens under the bus. <laughs> it's not healthy for the chickens. Chicken hawk. Yeah. You saw the what? Oh, right. Of course. Yeah, you guys will be able to see them put the peanut butter in the... Yeah, they, yeah they pretty soon. Right we switch? So it's not so I have to hammer from this side with my candy only. <laughs> I can't hammer from that side. Why not? 20 pounds, 25 pounds. It's awkward, it's awkward. Because you're right handed. I hammer from the top. Yeah. Yeah. The elastic? And I'm right handed. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Cut the umbilical cord. Yikes. So you guys have to do a trick you guys are doing. Yeah. yeah. Strangled candy? <laughs> oh, that other trick you're talking about, Craig? Yeah, yeah the trick. other trick. We can't talk about it, because if we do trick? that, everybody will be doing it at home, and we're yeah. thinking about patenting this trick. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to turn the fan on, so I'm going to blow your uh, bags around. Yeah. 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 We're gonna yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Is it too close? Too far? Or what? Pull it up a little bit. An inch. Just a little bit there. Okay. okay. Look at that. What are you doing there, Steve? Got water on the glove. Specially water. formulated water? Yep. It's candy water. <laughs> candy water? Just on there. Make sure Just so you everyone knows, that was a different glove. I was going to say, make sure you use a separate glove. Because you use a wet glove. Yeah. Wait a minute, I want to make sure it's the right size. Okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay. So if you guys envisioned how peanut butter filled ribbon candy would be made, is that how you would? No. no. <laughs> how would you do it? I know. No, I, would not. I just didn't think that it was going to go on top of each other. You would use a burrito trick? <laughs> Honestly, that was probably like my first guess. <laughs> That's so neat. I did see somebody else do it online. where They just took the whole piece and um, opened it up and put the peanut butter down there and then just instead of having two pieces hmm. they just folded it over. Oh, okay. But Steve said no. <laughs> <laughs> so you were you were starting to say uh, make sure you use a different glove for the water. Yeah because otherwise it would be a sticky situation. Because water if a lot of people at home don't know is kind of like candy glue for hard candy anyway. And it's wet. Yeah. <laughs> and it's wet? <laughs> wow. It's watery. Water, water is wet. Yeah. Wow. Are you talking about that is water wet debate? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it bothers me so much. Carrie, do, yeah. do you have the light on the peanut butter pieces separate? Or are they all just There's only like a piece left. Okay. Well, there's going to be more now. Okay, so these don't have any peanut butter in them, so we will put them to the side here. Do you guys just sell them? Oh, well, there won't be too many of them, so they'll just be, um, they might be samples. Because we can't sell them. As Melissa Ribbon Candy, let's put uh, a disclaimer on the label about might be peanut butter in here. Yeah. Like, you know how I did that with the fruit stuff that says on the label it might be peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Might not. Yeah. So, if you're allergic to peanut butter, this one has very little peanut butter. So, you're just pinching it to see if it'll come down? Yes. Because that's where it would come out. Yes. yes, and a little bit came out here. See, just a tad. I don't even know if the camera can pick that up. Yeah. Well, I'll take your word for it. Let's try the next yeah, one. Try it. Oh, yeah. I can already see it. Yeah. You can kind of see. There you go. Yeah. See that? I gotta yeah. quit squeezing things and twist. Yeah, you can sort of see the lighter. The middle is a little bit lighter. Yes. There's three little pieces. Aw, three little pieces. Hey, these Me. are for you, ladies. I'll put them right there. Oh my god. The yeah, they're really warm, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, it's so warm. Oh, this is a big piece of pocket. Good. Look at this. I made by hand. I didn't realize you like yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She does. <laughs> Sometimes it's made with sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's made with snark. <laughs> Just depends on the day. Sometimes it's made with love. I think that people like to believe that, so we like them. No. Do you guys like it better warm or cool? Oh, well, I, I can't say that. <laughs> the warm, it's really good warm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the warm, yeah. Mm -hmm. kind of it can kind of stick to your teeth a little more. Yeah. Little it's warm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not getting the crunch. It hardens really quickly. But you're quickly. getting the chew. Yeah. Look at that pocket of peanut butter. If I squeeze that, you, you wouldn't be able to see on your camera lens anymore. <laughs> but that's, that's what the people want. Pockets of peanut butter. Well, that's what the peanut butter people want. Peanut butter people want peanut butter pockets. 
they do. Now, I'm having That'd a little, perfect. I'm having a little peanut butter yeah, leakage perfect. here. You know how surgeons, out. Yeah, surgeons have somebody wipe their brow. I need somebody to wipe my peanut butter. Right there. I'll just have to work around it for now. Yeah, it's First world problems. So you found that the, the molasses is a little bit easier to do paint twist because it'll stay softer for longer. Um yeah, or, or it can be the it can also backfire because it because it's softer longer it can tip over. Mm. You turn your back on it, it tips over. Yeah. yeah. It's like don't turn your back on the ribbon can. But as far as when it comes to putting it together. Yeah. Then it's, it's more of a challenge than peanut butter with a PBJ because that, that's harder, yeah, softer. So the PBJ one gets uh, softer. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we did a slow motion video, and there's a lot of ribbon candy twists in slow motion, so I know a lot of people haven't seen that. How's it looking, huh? Pretty good. I like your new trick, Steve. Hmm. Yeah, less leakage. And you guys did this with uh, the last batch of peanut butter filled? Yeah. Uh, we did it with a peanut butter and jelly one first time. And that one worked pretty well? Yeah. Good. Yeah, so I know that was like our main issue last time. Yeah. Leaking out all over. Yeah. Which now, not so much so no. far. I mean, it's just there really was jelly in the peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> not so far. It's almost like as you guys do stuff, you get better at it. Yeah, perfect world. <laughs> Back in the old stuff, we only did it maybe twice a year. Yeah. Like, now we're doing a lot more so I can get more practice on how to make it better. Yeah. And that's why it took me so long to get any good at this. I don't know what Max's reason was for becoming so good at it in like two days. Yeah. Yeah, he's a very quick learner. That Max kid. If only he was with us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it got a lot smaller. Because he flipped it? Yeah, that must be it. Every time, Every time you time flip it, it, it gets smaller. It gets smaller yep. I have one last thing to say about tornadoes. Okay. You never really see them hitting big cities. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just because there's like so much, so many buildings blocking all the wind from like really whipping up. That's my unscientific thought process. You never really hear of descending on a city and destroying a city. I think the tornadoes yeah. are just scared of the cities, you know? Yeah. I mean, they do. Anyway. It seems like they're more of a rural thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, you know, I have really, spaces. yeah, open spaces to really whip up. Maybe a meteorologist will watch and explain it to us. Yeah, whip it. Whip it good. <laughs> That's a song. <laughs> it could either be the song or you could be like Elmer Fudd trying to say rip it. Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. <laughs> right in my car, I turn on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the radio? Oh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. It's duck season. It's ribbon season. It's ribbon season. And I don't know how much peanut butter is left, but I'll have to see now. Practically none. Yep. <laughs> well, it's zero. Yeah, I'd say there's none, Steve. You can, you can stop now. Alright. Then you just put the rest in the... How did that happen? The light on it. How did that happen? You guys are doing four batches today? Yep, and that's the fourth one. Wow. Yeah, this is going to be a big one. We're going to candy lay. Yeah. It's going to be boring. <laughs> All right, can I get a video of you guys uh, packaging You're stuff up? Back. You're in between 
feedback is important. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to be on the channel? Do you guys want to be on the channel? Right now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are you her spokesperson? Yes. yes. <laughs> um, should, we, should we get a sample for them? Sure. No, that's so cool. The ones that are really peanut buttery one. Uh, you? Sure. <laughs> so just put, okay, like that. There you go. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Peanut butter ribbon candle. Mm. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we describe things around here. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> you guys have already done pounders? Or? Yes, we did one batch of pounders. Okay. And then this one, you guys are doing eight ounces? Correct. You can tell because of how it is. Wow. And then we're going to do pounders. And then we'll have one more batch and we'll just split it down the middle. Oh, okay. So you guys did pounders and then you're doing eight ounces right now. Mm -hmm. okay. And the reason we do it like this is as soon as these are done, I'm going to run in and add them to the website because. People have been hankering for this. Yeah. I, well, for this, I only have 40 requests for, so this will probably last a few days. Yeah. If it was peanut butter and jelly, it would be gone. Yeah. And I'm sure if I, I posted a video about it, it would be gone quicker. Yeah. Why would you do something like that? <laughs> but since, uh, since we just had a peanut butter and filled uh, jelly ribbon candy mm -hmm. video, we had two of them recently. I'm going to try to space this one out so it won't be completely chronological. Gotcha. But you'll get it eventually. Keep your head enough of the peanut butter filled life. Yeah, I'm trying saying. to space it out a little bit. So anyway, for the people trying to bag up their bags at home, yes. can you give them a quick tutorial? Make sure the seam is in the back. That's the seam right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Mm. But it just makes for a better looking bag. And then you want to gather your edges in. Give it one fold, burp. Second fold, little burp. Boom. Boom. You have to say those. Kara, of course you do. Oh, I never do. Uh, Guess you're gonna have to go back and redo them. No one taught me. Baby no school. So that's me. why it's been kind of messed up all along. Now I know. I go. Burp and just gets rid of the air. Yep. You gotta print out some barcodes and put a best buy date on there, and then you will be good to go. We started, we are experimenting with bigger bubbles for our bubble pack. Oh, yeah? Packing up the uh, peanut butter filled ribbon, yeah. See if it gives it more cushioning. Mm. We'll see what happens. We'll see if you post it. Yeah. I would think that this, I don't know, I, I, I don't know much about bubble wrap, but I would think that small bubbles would do well because they're more flexible. You'd be wrong. Well, it's a thinner, an express oh, thinner. Oh, right, that. Well, well, what do you mean when you say bigger bubbles? Are you talking about, oh, like, the like bubbles? The oh, I was like thinking about ones one. that are, like, the big pouches. No, I was like, no. that doesn't no, seem No, this is, we're actually wrapping. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. In the bubble wrap. It's all making sense now. Yeah. Because I thought, I thought that's what you guys used anyway, the bigger bubbles? Nope, we've, oh, okay. we've never really had big bubbles. That shows how much I know we're about you guys. We've been little process. bubble people all along. Mm. We should test that by just throwing it on the ground and see how it fares. Sure. Yeah, like one of those science projects where yeah. they give you an egg and you got to Why don't we it. actually oh, get a ladder, get up on the roof, I mean, if you want... Mythbusters. Call yeah. them in here to do that. But what's the myth they're trying to bust? Mythbusters. They'll figure it out. <laughs> They'll figure out the myth, too. <laughs> they'll know. <laughs> they know. No, they'll make something there's up. There's a popular yeah. myth about shipping ribbon candy. <laughs> but we can't tell you yeah. what it is. It's been around for years. Because then you'll know. <laughs> oh, I think my myth has been busted. Maybe they can do the piping bag myth. <laughs> <laughs> what would the myth be? That Terry likes them? Oh. Terry does not like piping bags. No, we know that. Oh, okay. All right. That would be fast. I cannot see how packing ribbon candy would be faster with a piping bag. I'm not getting that. Oh, I guess we'll call Mythbusters in here. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Mythbuster. I 
many bags do you think you're getting in total? 38. Seems like a little more than 38. I mean, like for the whole day when I say in total. Oh, well, Craig, the first batch of pounders yielded 19. So that's why I'm saying 38 for the second batch of half pounders. Mm. And then we'll go back and get another 19 in one pounders. Maybe we'll get 20 this time. Maybe we'll get lucky. So say that's, say that's 40 and 40, and then we'll do the other one in half. And, and then we'll see what we get out of that. And then maybe it'll be like end up with 51 pounders wow. and, and like 60 half pounders. I imagine folks will let me know if my math isn't working out. <laughs> so That's it's like 150 16, right? or so? I don't know. What did they just say 10 remember. seconds ago? It was, it was like 5 seconds ago. You say one number and it goes out my head and then, yeah, you, then the other I one comes that. in. I think we said 50 and 60, so 110. Okay. Approximately. But yeah, this will, this will last longer than the PBJ, because the PBJ, when I put it on the website, it's like a giant vacuum and sucks it up. <laughs> and here's something that y'all should know. This app that I have, it's called Back in Stock. If somebody for some reason cancels an order, and they had something like peanut butter and jelly, ribbon candy on there, in order for me to refund them, I have to click this button that says refund. And it goes back into our inventory. So if we were sold out, and one bag goes back into the inventory, that one bag is now for sale, so mm. a notification might go out to a bunch of people yeah. for one bag. <laughs> so sometimes, and it doesn't happen that often, but sometimes yeah. people will be like, I just got a notification, it's already gone. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. I mean, I suppose I could monkey with the inventory and hold that one bag back, but mm -hmm. somebody wants it. Yeah. So let them have it. But yeah, I can see how that would be disappointing. Yeah. To get that notification. So what we're trying to do is keep up. But yeah. And then uh, you said Shopify and Springboard haven't been completely. They have not been getting along very well at all. And then ShipStation got in the fight. Mm. So all, all my apps that start with S's have not been getting along mm. and been messing up with the inventory and trying to get to the bottom of it with, what, with the texting and all because of the uh, or messaging. It's hard. You can't really call these folks. Two of the apps, you can't call them. You can only message them. One mm -hmm. of them you can call. Hmm. Well, I am planning on doing a video of like what happens when you when somebody places an order mm -hmm. from you know when you print out the order, someone fills it, and then ships it out, and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. That so super until exciting. then, people are gonna be like, what the heck is ShipStation? What the heck right. is this? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they can figure out the program you use, right. but they don't know exactly what. But. I guess that'd be in a video people would be interested in because someone thought, said that the the last shipping video they thought that that's what it was, mm -hmm. but it was you just saying, yeah. make sure you do a cold pack. But for this kind of candy, you wouldn't need a cold pack. So far, we have not been shipping with cold packs, and so far, nobody has let us know that there's been any problem. So if they do want hard candy of any kind, really, with the brittle, is that also? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah any of the completely sugar-based candies. Basically, if there's chocolate on it, it won't work. Mm -hmm. if there's not chocolate on it. It will probably work. And then some people who live in other parts of the world, like Australia, have been like, well, wait, so if you don't need a cold pack, then can I get it? Well, Australia, each country has different shipping restrictions. Some of them have labeling restrictions. Which Australia is one of them. They have strict food labeling requirements where you have to like break things down by percentages and just all this stuff that I'd have to make special labels just for them, for each item, and it's a big deal. It's not just, oh, here, I can just print that off. It's nothing yeah. like that. I'd, I'd have Very to do a lot of work to make one label because they want information on there that's not required here. Yeah. So for that reason, Kara, I'm willing to let you have this scale over there. Yeah. I am. What a mom. You've been, you've been a good I'm willing daughter to me. to let you do that. <laughs> you've been a good daughter to me, so I'm going to make you not reach. Wow, no wires. So all the 16s are... Right, where'd you yeah. put that bag though? Which one was it? I'm the one that it had on the scale. Okay, so this is a, got a tear of four, so you're just gonna make it an even 16. Oh, I think anytime it goes closer to the fan, it does. Yeah, well, it had a tear of two over here. Yeah, and now it has a four. <laughs> so, Which is fine, because then you can, if you make it an even 16, that accounts for the tear of two for the bag. When it does that. Well, the, the fan's probably just blowing it up. Yeah. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Uh. Oh, shipping to Australia and yes. New Zealand and other places like that, yeah. Yes. And then there's some countries, they don't allow the importation of food containing milk or meat. Mm -hmm. Well, there's hardly any meat in this candy. 
And there's actually no milk in this candy, but any the chocolate, there's milk in it, unless it's the vegan stuff. Mm -hmm. But even New Zealand, you still have the five day thing where yeah. the, the fastest the package can get there is five days. And it would be melted because the cold packs are only good for 36 to 48 hours. So, so that math doesn't add up. So you can't ship like stuff like this to those This one, I countries. believe we could. To Australia? Australia, no. Oh, that, that's what I'm it. saying. Like, so because New people, Zealand probably. Oh, you probably could ship. New I Zealand. believe New Zealand does not have the same restrictions. Okay. I looked it up. It was like $125 just for oh, the shipping. Yeah. So it's crazy expensive. But and, and I told somebody from New Zealand that, and they thought they might want to do it, but they never actually mm -hmm. got back to me. So you could be the first. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they're gonna get it. Yeah. That's kind of pricey. Yeah. They'd be like, hey, let's fly to Florida for an ice cream cone and then come home. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's about how much sense it would make, money-wise. But, you know, if you can just print yourself some more money, it's not a problem. Yeah, if you're really, really rich. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to stay here and have my ice cream cone. Mm -hmm. All right, well, good job, Mom. You too, Craig. Good job, Kara. You too, Craig. Good job, Dad. Thanks. <laughs>